Hi guys, my name is Armin. I'm head of product development at UF Pro, and today I want to present you the Striker XT combo shirt. My personal opinion is the most important material of a combo shirt is the torso material. Because what you actually want to achieve is that underneath your plate carrier, your body armor, whatever you're wearing on top of this, you want to have a material which is as light as possible, which dries super fast once you've done all your equipment. And of course, it has to be durable enough to withstand all the various Velcros and hard-edged Cordura straps, which is almost impossible. So it's almost impossible to have the perfect material for the torso area of a combat shirt. We are trying to find a decent compromise and the combo shirt is now, I would say, over four years in use and the feedback that we are getting is overall very, very positive. And one of the most positive properties of that material is that it really dries very, very fast. So you could almost watch it, how fast it dries. It's 100% polyester. Uh, weight is around 170 grams per square meter so also uh, a nice weight and you would usually you would make some sports dress out of it which is actually also the idea so you want to have functional materials which have the properties that you know from your sports clothing let's move up the armpit area and that brings me to one of the characteristics which I was mentioning before. In the armpit area, we have towards the body, we have a blend which is based on merino wool. And as most of you probably also know is that merino wool doesn't stink. And that is very important in this area. So first generation Striker XT combo shirt had that already. We had the merino, it's a merino polyester blend, we had that already. The problem was just the durability. And I would say that it's primarily the gunsling, which um, is all the time rubbing and scratching in this area. But of course, it's also the, the plate carrier, where the upper edges all the time with every move they're, they're rubbing and working on that type of fabric. So what we did is, because we, we found out the, the, merino, the merino polyester that we have underneath, it's not strong enough, but it's great from a comfort and from an odor management point of view. So what we did is we simply put um, a nylon mesh material on top of that and that made combo shirt much more durable. Is it indestructible? No, it's not. So there will be damage after a certain amount of time. And I was talking a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to a guy, he's a former member of a German special force team military. So you might probably know which team it is. And he said, well, we're using, we're wearing our combo shirts maximum three months, then they're, they're done, they're gone. Uh, and you cannot expect more from the torso area of a combo shirt, especially if you have them in, in heavy duty use. So super comfortable, pretty durable, great odor management. This is our torso area. Let's move to the sleeves. First of all, a couple of words around the material, what materials we use for the sleeves. General statement, this is very much depending on the camouflage print that we are using because different armies with their specific camouflage print are using different materials. German military has a 65% cotton, 35% polyester fabric, uh, not a ripstop, it's a twill. The multicam fabric is a 50% nylon, 50% cordura fabric. Same thing with green zone, 50% nylon, 50% cordura. Our plain colors are 67% polyester, 33% cotton. So we are taking materials which are from the weight in the same category, 200, around 220 grams per square meter, but from the detailed composition 
they are slightly different. Let's start at the lower edge of the sleeve. So you have width adjustment, you have a lower sleeve pocket, there is an elastic strap inside and on top there is mole, either for a device pouch or for something to write. Upper sleeve pocket, again of course also with a zipper. This nipple here, that's in order to make it easier to open the zipper. Especially if you want to open it quickly, what you do is you grab that piece with your teeth so you have the counter force and then you easily can open the zipper. Velcro areas on top of the sleeve pocket and we flip it around. On the back side there is a ventilation opening. We tried in the development uh, phase, I think it was the first prototype, we had the ventilation opening here in front, in that front section. Um, from a ventilation point of view, it's much better. But um, of course, there are slipper sliders and the slipper sliders are getting in your way, especially in the way of your buttstock, uh, and therefore it was a no-go. So, it's on the back side. It's still a great ventilation effect, but it's not as good as it would have been in the front area. The elbow section, what you see here, it's a pocket for inserts, protectors, whatever you want to wear in order to protect your elbows. Of course, in the shoulder area, you have the detachable air packs, air permeable, of course, very nice cushioning and air circulation effects. Front zipper is pretty long, but for all of you who work in dangerous zones, please uh, make sure that your slider is not underneath the plate <clears throat> because you don't want to have any risks of uh, secondary fragmentation. The collar of the shirt is lined in the inside because usually the face fabric is a little bit rough on the skin and especially if you have the gun sling around your neck and it's rubbing, you want to have something which is softer and smoother in that sensitive area of your neck. So let's summarize it. The Stryker XT combo shirt has in the torso area a very specific material which is characterized by its super fast drying properties. In the armpit areas we have two different materials. One is based on merino, the other one is based on nylon. The other material in the combo shirt is very much depending on the type of camouflage that we are using. It's either polyester cotton or Nyko. The functional elements like pockets, front zipper are like we have them usually in all our jackets. So you have a lower sleeve pocket, you have an upper sleeve pocket. On the lower sleeve pocket there is mole straps. The collar is in the inside. It's lined with the torso material so that it's nicer, nicer, softer to wear. And you have a long enough front zipper so that it feels nice and comfortable when it's getting warm. And of course, in the shoulder areas, you have our air pack inserts. So I hope you liked that review. If you have any questions, just feel free to shoot us a mail, call us, uh, put some comment in the comment box below. Uh, and I hope to see you next time.